Save Friday, and we are very excited to have our next guest with us. He has gone from being an NFL player to a pastor and now to a best-selling author. Yeah, he just released his sixth book. Six! It's called How to Heal Our Racial Divide, What the Bible Says, and the First Christians Knew About Racial Reconciliation. Everybody, please welcome, there he is, uh, the co-founder and lead pastor of the Transformation Church of South Carolina, Reverend Dr. Derwin Gray. Now, you say this is a sixth book, but you said you didn't plan on writing this one. This one kind of found its way to you. How does that work? Oh, TJ. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't even I didn't even like writing books, but a couple years back, um, just as I seen the political partisanship the racial divide and at 50 years old my heart was just weary then as a pastor i thought people who follow jesus should be the most loving the most kind we should be the solution to the problem not a barricade keeping the problem going and so I was just tired. And so it wasn't like I planned to write the book. It was more like the book wrote me and I just participated in it. Well, we all know you participated in the NFL for six years. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, how do you go from being an NFL safety uh, to leading a church? <laughs> Well, um, I didn't grow up as a follower of Christ. And so in the NFL, I basically accomplished all my dreams. I did things that I never even thought I was able to do. And yet and still, I found myself unsatisfied. I found myself living with insecurity because the NFL stands for not for long. And I thought, who would I be after that? I couldn't forgive my dad. I couldn't love my wife the way she deserved to be loved. And so it was like I achieved my ultimate dream and it turned out to be a nightmare. But I had a teammate. His name was Steve Grant, but his nickname was the Naked Preacher because every day after practice, he would take a shower, dry off, wrap a towel around his waist and get his Bible. And he'd ask my teammates, do you know Jesus? And in my mind, I'm going, bro, do you know you're half naked? It, it, was, it was like the strangest thing. But what I noticed about his life though, is he was kind and loving. He played the game hard. And eventually over a five year process, this message of Jesus made sense. And so I gave my life to him. And I wasn't planning on being a pastor or an author. I grew up as a compulsive stutterer. And like I said, I didn't even like reading books, but it's like God began to change my heart and, and, and my mind. I began to think theologically and went on to get a doctorate. And so that's kind of how it happened. I like to say that God used football, not as the highlight of my life, but the open doors to create more highlights so people could come to know his love. Well, we're hoping you can give our viewers a few highlights now as well. This is the part of our Faith Friday segment where we hand it over to our guest and hopefully give some uh, words of encouragement and, and wisdom going into the weekend. So the floor is yours. Yeah, you, you know, first of all, uh, I really appreciate you guys and what and what you do. And um, we have been through so much, not only as a country, but as a world. Who would ever thought that we would live through a global pandemic? Who ever thought that we would see the U.S. capital under siege? Who would have ever thought inflation would be at 8.3? Who would ever thought that our mental health in America would be a disaster and so much division, right? So this is what I want to encourage everybody with. This is so important. What you thought was going to break you God can actually use to remake you. And when he remakes you, it's not just for you. You become a gift and you become a blessing in the world. And love always wins. And so what you thought was gonna break you, God will use to make you. I'm a living testimony of that, that he'll do, do, do it. And a kid from the ghetto in San Antonio, Texas will be on GMA3. Oh my goodness, I wish my grandmother was alive to see this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what, that's the best ending to one of our Faith Friday segments we've ever had. Uh, Reverend Dr. Derwin Gray, really, it's good to see that big old smile of yours. Congratulations on everything, including the book. The book is How to Heal Our Racial Divide. Uh, we hope to see you down the road, okay? Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.